about one-fifth of all the fetal and maternal death is caused by obstructive labor. The fetus cannot progress despite strong uterine contractions. There is no solution to this except operation. We've developed a system to exponentially increase the number of providers of cesarean section using simulation-based training. We have the first ever prototype cesarean section teaching module. Now this is just the very first prototype, but you can actually see on our video that this model has been used to create a lifelike simulation of a low transverse cesarean section in a pregnant mother who's had an obstructed labor. This is done by a single surgeon. In our scenario, this is done by a non-obstetrician that we've trained with a very, very detailed program of didactic education, anatomy, and very importantly, an algorithm of when a life-saving cesarean section is indicated in a low resource setting. If the, uh, the patient is close enough to a center where a surgeon is available, then sending the patient by transport to a surgeon would make the most sense. But in parts of the world, in the Western Hemisphere and particularly in Africa, uh, there are no surgeons available and the only practitioner is a midwife. I believe that we can train a senior midwife how to do a safe, low transverse cesarean section and in this opportunity, we save both the life of the baby and the life of the mother. Uh, I think that you'll see this product um, be available in the world to save lives within the next three to five years. We already use this in the U.S. Armed Forces to train combat surgical skills. We think it has to be done or there will be no answer to obstructed labor. Thank you.